friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kristen and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you would like to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Um, the button is right down below, that big red guy. And yeah, let's get into this video. So let's talk about zero waste periods. So for my menstruating humans out there, let's lay it all on the table. I grew up with like a stigma surrounding this. So it was really weird to talk about. I was super freaked out about getting my period as a kid and yeah, let's just drop it all. Okay, so first of all, let's start with the disgusting throwaway pads and tampons that are on the market. The government does not require these tampon and pad companies to put the ingredients of their tampons and pads on the box. So customers buy them, they don't have to tell them what is in it, and it's going on a very sensitive and the most absorbent part of your body. And I feel like as a person who menstruates, you should know what is going on with your body and if it is safe to use. They use really harmful chemicals. They're bleaching these products. Um, just lots of nasty stuff. Plus, if they use any sort of cotton, so a lot of these conventional brands are actually using non-organic cotton, which doesn't bother me a lot of the time, but when it's something that's in a very absorbent part of your body, you're going to be absorbing these disgusting pesticides that the cotton is sprayed with. So really you need to keep that in mind. Of course, a step up from that would be your organic, very natural tampon and pad, but those still create a ton of trash. So what is going to create little to no trash and create a zero waste, low waste period? Um, I have discovered menstrual cups. So mine comes in this little um, cotton pouch, but I'll show you guys what it looks like here. But it's a little menstrual cup. So mine is from Lena and it's a great brand. They're actually really sustainable. And I did email them to make sure that it was cruelty free and vegan. And they sent me a nice long email back saying that this is cruelty free, none of their raw materials or anything used to make the cup is tested on animals. None of it is tested on animals. So I felt really good about that. They told me flat out it was cruelty free and vegan friendly. I'm very appreciative of that because not all menstrual cups are cruelty free. So keep that in mind. Also, Lena is a great sustainable and eco-friendly company. So the box is FSC certified. Um, it's made from recycled paper and they only use vegetable soy inks to print all their stuff on, which I think is great. Plus the little pouch that your cup comes with to store it is cotton. I've seen a lot of different brands of different menstrual cups that use not necessarily natural materials for their bags, like they're using um, like polyester or stuff like that. And I really am happy that it has a breathable fabric like cotton. And then the cup is made of silicone. So first off, I wanna say that at maximum, your cup will last 10 years. I think it would be hard to make it last 10 years just because that is a long, long time, but that's with exceptional care and cleaning. You know, I asked Lena themselves and they said it varies and it just depends on your care and usage of the cup and it depends on per personal preference on what you feel is the most hygienic for you. If there's a lot of staining on your cup or if there's any sort of cracking or something cosmetic to the cup itself, get a new cup. But I was looking online and they were saying like maybe two to three years is pretty typical for most people, um, but with a maximum of 10 years. And some people maybe only want six months and feel like that's gross. 
But regardless, if you look at a traditional um, pack of pads or tampons and compare it to this one single cup that will last you years, um, it is the best bang for your buck. So this cost me about $25. You know, it ranges cup to cup. I think it also depends on your own body and your cervix is in different places. Different cups and brands are gonna fit people differently. So my body is different from your body. So this works really well for me, but maybe it doesn't work well for you. So to dispose of it, I was looking online what exactly you can do and really the best thing in my situation would probably be to burn it. <laughs> so um, if you burn it, it might create a tiny bit of CO2. It's not a huge amount that is going to create insane amounts of pollution. Um, and it is compostable once it turns into burnt ash. So that's something to keep, uh, keep in mind as well. I know people were saying you can contact like hospitals and see if they recycle any um, medical grade silicone, if you could also put your menstrual cup with that or, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to research stuff like that, but I have not been, I have not had to do that yet. So something to keep in mind. I've had mine for almost two years, a little less than two years, and I love it and probably won't be going back to disposable things. I have never tried um, reusable pads. I've never tried like period underwear, like thinks or anything like that, but it would be super interesting to try those things. I'm definitely very open to it, but I just feel so comfortable with the menstrual cup, with Lena. I don't have to worry about it at all. You can keep it in for eight to 12 hours. I pretty much always keep it in for 12 hours. You can sleep overnight with it, which is great. What I like about it, is if you work, if you have an active lifestyle, if you are just busy all the time and you're not spending every day, all day at home during your period, this is a great option. You don't have to change it for 12 hours. So I'll put it in in the morning. I don't feel it whatsoever during the day. I take it out at night in my own bathroom. I rinse it out, clean it, pop it back in, done, boom, you are set. This thing is so, so easy to use. I use my Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap um, and it is the 18 in one hemp baby unscented soap. I was really worried about what type of soap to use to clean this out. You really want to use a natural, pretty basic unscented soap. You don't want anything to mess up that very absorbent area of your body. So, and I actually have a local grocery store that has um, Dr. Bronner's in bulk. So I fill it up in this jar, this is Dr. Bronner's, and then I'll just pour this into my little travel size that I've had for a couple, one, two years now, um, that I got from a family member. So I just like fill this up and it's a lot easier than like pouring it from a jar, obviously, <laughs> to clean. And this is great to travel with. You can use this for so many different things, dishes, body soap the list goes on and on. So, love Dr. Bronner's. Before each period, I will clean it and I also boil it for about eight to 10 minutes just to make sure that it's super clean and ready to go. It does take some getting used to at first. So I wanna preface this by saying that I was more of a tampon user before using this and what was really annoying was I had a job mostly out in the sun when I first, right before I got this. And I was sweaty. It was just a pain in the butt. So to also deal with my period during that was a pain to go to the bathroom, change my tampon, do this and that. It was just 
a whole, whole mess. And I was living in Florida, dealing with the humidity and heat of Florida, and it was just, it was just not fun. So, I got my Lena cup and I started using it and it's it made life so much easier because I don't feel it at all throughout the day. If you find one, a menstrual cup that fits you really well, it's great. You don't feel anything moving around. Basically, you are inserting it and it just kind of goes floop. I fold it into like a taco and then it'll just go floop and it's just kind of stuck there and I give it a tug on the stem just to see and do like kind of circle around the bottom of the cup just to make sure that it's not bent anywhere and you will be shocked as to how little uh, you produce during your period. When I first started using it, I was like, God, I'm having crazy cramps crazy amount of pain and this is the smallest amount of blood that I see. So that's something to keep in mind too. Most menstruating humans will have well over 400 periods in their lifetime. Think about all of the tampons and pads that people are throwing away into landfills. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's talk about the eco-friendly side of this. It's one one thing for your period that will last you years. You don't have to stock up on boxes and boxes of tampons and pads in your bathroom. You have this little bag that'll hold your menstrual cup in it. Uh, it was right under $25 for me. It's super economical if you're thinking about how much money you're spending in the long run. It just makes sense and it makes sense for the environment you're not throwing your money away basically and when you're thinking about all these conventional tampon and pad brands and companies they're using so many disgusting synthetic materials and chemicals and that's all going to the landfill so that's not good at all. Lena is actually based out of California and they make everything within a 50 mile radius. They're creating a product that people need while being eco-friendly as well as vegan, which are like my two big things that pull on my heartstrings. And I really, really recommend them and this is not sponsored in any way obviously i am a very small youtuber so <laughs> this is my personal opinion if you guys have any questions i know i'm kind of all over the place with this video but let me know comment down below i just really really recommend this brand and this company okay so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope it was informative and helpful and if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!